Astral is a system that monitors and manages the energy use in buildings and office locations. Behind Astral are some simple concepts as to turning on and off devices based on when they're need needed. If Kevin pulls out his laptop at the end of the day, it's after six o'clock, start to turn off the devices around his desk, like his monitor, his telephone, his light, and the power over ethernet to his desk, anything that, that's associated with that person. And then for pe people in a particular area in an office, when they've left the office in the evening, you can turn off the light, lighting and the heating in that space. And again, on the floor level, you can turn off the lighting and the heating in the common areas when people have left uh, a particular floor. Astro can take its information from a number of sensors, simple sensors such as temperature, presence, if there's people in, in a particular location, light levels. But also it can interface to more complicated systems such as uh, a swipe card system, for example. So it knows when people have entered a building, people have left a building. So if John Smith enters in the morning, you can start to turn on his PC. When he's left in the evening, you can turn off devices. The technology of Astral came out of a number of years of research that took place at the TSSG in the Waterford Institute of Technology. Uh, they've done a lot of years research on policy and management systems, and this is one of the outcomes from that. Uh, and we've developed a system which is now fully functional and implementation ready. Uh, we have an invention disclosure which we intend to create a patent application from and the IP for Astral is wholly owned by the Waterford Institute of Technology at the moment. Astral can be used by anybody who wants to reduce the energy in their office, building, campus location. Uh, for example, a recent research report from Pike showed that there's a very strong return on investment for energy management systems, a very good return on investment, a very large amount of money that can be saved. Um, but even still, only 14% of the market is being serviced. So there's a large number of people out there spending a lot of money on energy that they don't need to. The cost of energy it has increased. Uh, with the reduction in the oil reserves, we can only see future increases in the cost of energy. One aspect of saving energy for a building manager is to put in different materials, energy saving lights, etc. But another aspect is to make the best use of the resources they have. So with the policy management system behind Astral, it can use the resources that you have better and more efficiently. So you're only using the devices you need when you need them. On average, an office location, there are people present for about 50 to 70 hours per week. But given that there's 168 hours in a week, most of the time there's nobody there. So there's a huge window for energy to be wasted in an office environment. What Astral does is it matches more the energy spent to the, to the need. So you're matching supply and demand. Also, in some offices, we've seen different systems, one to manage heating, one to manage lighting, one to manage user devices such as PCs. Astral is one system that encompasses all those three. So instead of implementing three systems, you're implementing one. Instead of maintaining three systems, you're maintaining one. And Astral will save more energy because it, it has a more global view. We can see all the things that those other three systems can see. And it's working those three together instead of three separate systems which aren't talking to each other. In our implementations of Astral, we've seen that uh, the company can save up to about 53 euro per PC per year. So if you look at your office and count the number of PCs, multiply that by 53, and then multiply it by five, because IT is only about 20% of the energy spent in a building, you can quickly see the amount of savings that a company can make, and it's quite substantial. Of course, the, the nice side effect of all of this is that the more energy we spend, the less CO2 we're pumping into the environment globally. The cost of Astral varies very much on what, again, what the office setup is. Th there are a few components of Astral. There's a software component, the central decision-making part. There's the sensor part. So depending on how many sensors you want to put around your office, that will affect the cost, obviously. And again, you want to see how much savings you're going to make. So on a case-by-case -case basis, we, we could do a return on investment for each particular office so you can see the benefits on a, your own particular case. There should be no effect on implementing Astral in an office. The, the people in the office shouldn't even know that Astral is there. The only person who noticed that Astral has been implemented is the person paying the energy bill at the end of the month, and they will see large savings in what they're spending.